Okay, now we're going to see how much my battery operated electric magnet will hold up when the power is shut off. Here we go. This is a 10 pound weight. Cast iron would be better if it was steel, but it's cast iron. And a hanger up here. No magnetism. Get her dry to be balanced. Power on. There she's hanging. <coughs> Power off. She's still hanging. Couldn't add these. These are one and a quarter pounds a piece. very carefully and balance them on here. That did work again. I just did this and it worked really good. Okay, power on, she's on. Power off, she's off. There's two and a we did one and a quarter a piece, that's two and a half more pounds. Fifteen pounds. It just amazes me. That will hang there forever until somebody knocks it off there. No power. I'll see right here, I'll unhook the batteries. she's hanging with 15 pounds switch is open power off unhook the battery nothing hooked to the battery wires here in my hand No, I think that's just totally amazing. I seen one on YouTube and I just had to build one for myself because I didn't believe it. I've got two spools of wire on here. Uh, it's a one by one solid shaft that I bent, but I didn't get a very good job bending it because it was so cold out that acetylene wouldn't keep up on my torch to keep it hot enough to bend it at one time. There's 1500 rounds of number 22 gauge wire on there. It's supposed to be 16 gauge. I had this coil of 22 gauge. It's got another story behind it. That used to be a big magnet. Out of the brewery in Fountain City, Wisconsin. It was six stories up and it was powered by 220 volts. And it took all the metal out of the hops for the brewery. I've had that since I was 14 years old. My dad took through it outside after I moved away from home and uh, the weather's gotten to it and I've used that spool of wire for lots of things. Wire for my shortwave antenna about 200 feet outside and when I was about 14 a buddy of my dad's bought that brewery for the real estate and he asked my dad if he'd help him scrap it out. So that summer when I was 14 was the best time of my life. I got to help my dad and that other guy scrap that brewery out. Of course back then, price of brass was about 25 cents a pound and copper was 30. It had a one and a half story high copper kettle in it. It was a half inch thick. I cut that up with a skill saw. That would have been nowadays the copper is about three and a half pound. No, that would have been a fortune there Of course I was a kid Played all the time up there in that brewery with all the stuff tore all the valves apart and junked the brass and Well that magnet was up there in the top Of course all the thermometers were full of mercury Used to pour that out by the cupfuls and play with that. 
Couldn't do it no more nowadays, though. I just thought I had to show you this magnet deal. It's called the Perpetual, Mo Perpetual Motion Holder. Invented by the guy that made the Coral Castle. Well, I don't know if he invented it. He discovered it. Down in Florida. Built that whole castle out of coral with no help. You want to know what that is, just Google Coral Castle on Florida. But look at that. Hanging there with 15 pounds on it and not falling apart. No power to it. And if you're ever a kid and wrap carpet wire around a magnet, you know what this is. Well, I know you're all kids, but probably didn't everybody play with magnets like I was. I've always been impressed by magnets. <coughs> I got another video. I'm going to tie on the end of this and just see how much it would pick up picked up about 72 pounds, 80 pounds counting the weight of the magnet. You can see it there, hanging there. Nothing underneath it. If I just touch it, she'll fall down. Here we go. Now you can see No power, won't stay there. And you've seen it, I don't know what it is, just one of the wonderful things in nature, I guess. No magic though. Well, there you go, thanks for watching. I just had to do this. You got this Ford Flathead, V8 Ford Flathead. I'm going to pick her up with my magnet just to keep her hot rod orientated. Here we go. I had to put this weight on the end of it to help balance it out for the thermostat housing there. Here we go. Power on. There we got the flathead forward picked up. She won't hold her with the power off though. Here we go. Power off. Only about 15 pounds is out of hold without the power on. We've got 44 pound barbell. Let's see what she does with that. That little magnet. Power up. There she is. Seeing is believing. Hill Ford Flathead. I don't know for sure what that weighs, not too much. There's the magnet. Said 1500 rounds of the copper on each side there. Hooked. Well, they said you should hook them in series, but I got them hooked parallel. Yeah, it was one of the funner times in my life when I helped scrap that brewery out. If you only had that much brass and copper today. Well, hang in there, YouTube. I just had to show you what I've been doing this winter somewhat. This one didn't take long, maybe a couple days. That bar is the old PTO shaft off my semi, my 79 Astro. It had a wet kit on it when I got it. But I didn't need it, so I took it off, and that's the PTO shaft. Hang in there. We're having a magnet test. See how much my homemade magnet will pick up. I don't know if you can see this or not.
That's 80 pounds, I guess, but say on the scale.